Hi, it's Jason at Golf Principles again, and uh, welcome to our weekly, if you like, Tuesday morning review of what happened over the weekend in the world of golf. And USPGA McIlroy was just phenomenal. He walked away with it. He was back to his best. He was imperious. What's really interesting about his bag is he's changed a couple of things. He's changed his driver, which is a huge call. He had that driver for a couple of years. And he switched to a new head, the 913, which is very tight, this, very classic looking. But it's got a quicker ball speed than the old 910. And it's basically, if you like, going head to head with the Razor Fit and RBZ and the R11S. So it's in that mix now with high ball speed. They reckon he's picked up about 15 yards. But interestingly, he switched out of his old Fujikura shaft into a Diamana prototype. Now, it's probably been around for about oh, four or five months, that prototype shaft. It's basically a, a similar model to this D Plus here. So it's like a whiteboard, strong in the tip, lower spinning, getting it out there in terms of high launch, low spin. That's what all the guys are looking for now, is this high, high launch, low spin bolt. Also with Rory, he only carries two wedges. He goes from his pitching wedge, which is about 47, and he goes 54, 60. So he has, you know, he hasn't got a myriad of options like Mickelson carrying four or five wedges. Rory just carries the two, so he keeps it real simple. He has two choices, and it's 54 and 60. And he doesn't mess around with lots of different combinations. So if you get kind of confused by which shot do I hit, what wedge do I need, if that's you. Do Rory, just go look, I want a lob wedge or I want a bunker club that's a 58 or a 60 and my next wedge is either a 52 or a 54 and then a pitching wedge, just keep it simple. Sometimes the least amount of options are the best. It depends on your mindset and what you like. But look at Rory's bag and see what he's done. He's got three wood, he's got five wood, he's got a driving iron in the bag sometimes. So he feels he's better off changing the top of the bag than the bottom of the bag. The choice is yours, but have a little play around and uh, I think McElroy looks back to his best now. We'll talk about his golf swing a bit later, but he's done a great job. But that shaft is very interesting. He switched from Fuji into Diamana.